Hello. Good morning. I've just been having a moan on Instagram and now I fancy having another moan here. I feel like shit. I feel like poo. I feel like bum bums. Thank you once again to all of you for all of your incredibly lovely so supportive kind. messages uh, regarding us not doing the members live last night. Obviously, um, Bretty and Teddy, Teddy had another on. horrible day yeah. at the hospital yesterday. They were there for nine blooming hours. Oh my God, it's just so hard being so old hard. and having to go to the hospital. And what did you... Like my mum said again, every individual person that you deal with is lovely. Mm. But it's just the waiting around for hours and hours and hours, you know, no food, no drink. Mm. My mum didn't take a coat again. Mm. And she was cold all day again. And... Um, yeah, so my dad had to have a scan, an MRI scan on his brain yesterday because they think he had another little stroke the night before. Um, yeah. Mm. But, so, but he seemed incredibly in, on fine form towards the end of last night, at the, mm. end of it, at the back end of it, and so far as he was sort of railing at everyone as to look after your bodies... Uh, you know, be healthy. They, da, wanted da, 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 da. To, they wanted him to stay in last night, but he just couldn't face it. He just hated it so much there. And um, he said, it'll kill me if I stay in there, didn't he? Sarah, so he's got to go back for more scans on his, on his brain. But. It's like they said, they were saying, they said every individual person that dealt with them was absolutely lovely. Mm. But they, like they say, there's no joined system. up thinking within the system because it's a stretch, it's stretched to breaking point. Stretched, I mean, you know, like they were there nine hours. You know, mm. he's 87, she's 85. They looked absolutely exhausted mm. when we picked them mm. up. I'm not, you know, I wasn't allowed to go in there to take them anything or anything, which is just so frustrating because, of course, COVID. Which was just a small reminder of what people have had to but, go through. This is what we yeah. were saying. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. were saying, my God, you know, all the way through COVID, we've been lucky enough not to have our parents in hospital, yeah. not to have our parents in a care home. Yeah. And though we've, of course, been empathetic to it over the last year, you don't really know what it's like that you can't get to your elderly until you can't get to them. And this was just for one day. Yeah. You know, so, and I was so frustrated, spent the whole so evening unique. yesterday just basically on and off the phone to my mum, trying to get information, trying to get there. And then eventually they said, oh, my dad needed to change his medication. And she, it's like my mum said, she said, you know, they're all busy, they've all got the stuff. And they said, yeah, we're going to give you this new medication. It will be about a two hour wait. You know, and at this point, they were absolutely on their knees, nine o'clock at night, you know, and they were just like another two hours. So they broke out, didn't they? They ran, they, Essentially. They, we, went, we went and like screeched up to the yeah. hospital and waited outside and they broke entrance. out of the hospital. I've never pulled up to a rear entrance that fast before in my life. <laughs> So they're gonna, we're going to try and get them the medication Teddy today. Teddy came out with his arms in the air. No, well, no, he didn't. No, no, no. But, I mean, he was kind of... He was trying... You know that thing my nan used to do it where, where they're clearly going through shit, but they want to over-suggest. Bless him, because he, he, he said to me, he said, the only thing I was worried about is I don't want my your, your girls worrying about me. Mm -hmm. I know. It's just... And he, but he broke my heart last night because he goes, I'm, I'm so worried about Betty. He said, because she had to have all of this today because of my, because mm. it's my fault. I said, it's oh. not. I said, he's amazing. You know, he's got diabetes. He's got a heart condition. And he looks after himself so, so well. That is amazing that he's as well as he is at 87. Astonishing. And it's because he's always looked after, because he's always said, I don't want everyone looking after me. He's you, amazing. Your father and my grandfather had, must have, well, he, he has and mine must have had the constitution of an ox, because your dad had, what, what year was it when he had his massive stroke? It was before I met you, well, was before, it? Two yeah, or three years before I met you. Yeah, a good 21 years ago. And was that so quite, it's was amazing. It severe? Where was uh, yeah. One side of him, he yeah. yeah. So, so there you go. So I mean, massive. And my grandfather had a, his first coronary at forty. It wasn't massive, but it was. It yeah. was a big stroke. It was a proper yeah. stroke in that one half of his yeah. body. So you know, couldn't use. you imagine already with that compromised body that you 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 know. And, and to be fair, relative, your dad is extraordinarily healthy in the choices that he's made. That he made. My grandfather not so much, but he gave up smoking and he didn't drink anyway, and his mm. diet became better. And then he lived until about you know seventy, seventy eight, seventy seven. You know, so my dad, my dad's doing brilliantly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, I know, but it's a worry. Mm. And Nads, can I just say she's not going to say it because she's a Trojan and she's a pro. 
but she's feeling really under the I weather. I do keep saying it. I'm moaning about it all the time. No, no, I know, but you're like, well, okay, maybe you're not moaning enough. <laughs> just moaning maybe about I'm giving it on you permission Instagram. to moan a bit more. And then I started here more moaning. Oh, Outlandish Creations, you would have laughed yesterday. Um, my mum, because I was texting back and forth with my mum all evening, you know, and my mum was like, oh, my God, what I wouldn't do for a big gin and tonic. I said, listen, I'll come down <laughs> yes. to the hospital. I'll come in yeah, and I'll bring very... you a gin and tonic. So in the end, we weren't allowed in the hospital. So I took one of them. Um, I took this. Yeah. You were in the heart of our family event last you night. You were last night at Landish Creations. So I took this with my lovely friend Lisa. Lovely friend. She's just a, getting a thong. I've got a real, real problem with paper straws. I can't bear them. So I took this, your cup, Outlandish Creations. It's got a hole there. With this, a glass straw. <laughs> With a massive gin and tonic. It's the only time I would have allowed um, such a thing in the car. And we got mum in the car and I was like, there you go. She was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Not that we agree with alcohol for medicinal purposes, no. but every so often after a really shit day, yes. a gin and tonic. Yeah. And she loved it so much. I don't, I don't wish to sound like a scrote, but where, where, where did it go? I'm going to always do this now it? when we go. At, what? My mum's got it. Oh, right. We've got to get it back. Got to get it back. Things so go missing a lot. Look at that. Outlandish Creations. You should, you should promote this on your Instagram as a way to have a drink in the car. The baby can't encourage drinking in the car. You think drivers... Oh, that's true. <laughs> can't intrigue. No, but sometimes we'll but be going even, out... Hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But <laughs> even... Can I just say, do not listen to that, guys. Even drunken drink. people... Other drunken people in the car are a danger to no, the driver. No, a cold drink. Not an alcoholic drink. Like a cold drink. The amount of times... Like a tonic. The amount of times I've gone to the in the door drawer... You know the door... What do you call that bit in the door where you shove stuff? The door. The door pocket. Plastic pocket. On Nadia's side, there's chewing gum attached to pound coins. There's pound coins now attached to masks. And there is always a really old small tumbler glass with the remnants of Baileys in it. Not always. Yes, yes always. Sometimes. Anyway, so there we go. Um, so yeah, it was it was uh, you know well I mean it was a uh, yeah touch, not but touch and go but it was just a worrying evening it was a worrying evening um, but things are a little calmer now but I don't think Teddy for sure Teddy will not be doing a Teddy talks this weekend he's too he's too under the weather when we see wrestles you know what he's like exactly he'll probably like say such an actor he'll probably rise yes. to it and say I must do it oh, oh look Gladys Green of course we can hi morning every morning everyone don't see you often comment so. Could I please have a shout out for my son Jonathan and fiance Kim? Hi, Jonathan and Kim. They should have been getting married today in Scotland and oh. it's been cancelled because of COVID. Oh, sending you our sending love, you all Kim our love. and Jonathan. Oh. And you will get to you do it. You will do it. You will do it. Maybe you just have to go for a bit of a romantic night somewhere. Yeah. Um, Zoe, best cup ever, handy for parks. You're right. Exactly. And Skyly, sorry, yet again we were supposed to do the recording and the watching of yeah. your. Um, we are going to do film. that. Yesterday, we were planning to do that when I got back from Loose Women, but it all went crazy. Yeah. I mean, we haven't even shot the Sunday show yet. We're no. so behind with everything. Yeah, we really are. Uh, <laughs> Lisa Love still to do and all that sort of stuff. So, um, so yeah, a big Emma Carter, thank you so much for your card. Thank you. That's going to be going over as well. Uh, and there was a lovely card, a collective card uh, from all the subs to Teddy, which I haven't had a chance to actually oh, show you oh. yet, but that, that's going to go over to Teddy today as well. So yeah. I really appreciate everyone's comments, support, love and care. Thank you. Um, yeah, I was mentioning to you, I talked about it yesterday on Coffee Morning. I mentioned to Nadia about the tragedy of Robert Downey Jr.'s best mate in recovery, Jimmy Smith, Jimmy, Jimmy died. It was just like, oh my God, it's just, mm. it's just, just so awful. Um, sorry, I just saw someone mention it. It went up there. So the green list. What do you make of the green list, guys? What do you make of the green list? Is it mean? I, I must admit, I almost laughed when I saw it. I felt like they were saying the green list includes Chatham, uh, Gillingham, <laughs> uh, the Outer Hebrides and the Faroe Islands. Well, we learned something about the Faroe Islands we going, did. To the, going to the hospital last night. We did, because yeah. it was on the uh, Andrew Pierce show on LBC, because yes. he didn't know anything about the Faroe Islands, and I realised I don't know anything about the Faroe Islands. I always thought the Faroe Islands was in Scotland. Yes, I did. I always thought the Faroe Islands was where they shot some of the Star Wars films. But, but it's it in between 
us Scotland and Iceland. And Iceland. So Scotland. you go to Scotland and then you, it's an hour and a half flight to the Faroe Islands. And it sounds absolutely sounds beautiful. beautiful. But they gave us the... Sh- and they speak... Faroese. Faroese, isn't that wonderful? But they all speak English as well. And it's kind of a Danish. And then the second language, and then the third language is Danish. They speak Danish as well. It's a Danish protectorate. And they have the, apparently, they can sell their DNA for science, to science. I didn't understand why. Because all the men are 84%. Are 84%. Viking. Nordic. Yeah, and Scan- all the women are 85%. Percent Celtic. Yeah. They're, so the women are almost pure Celtic craziness. Apparently this is totally extraordinary thing. I always wanted to go out with a Celtic woman. Wales is open. Why don't we go to Wales for a holiday? Oh, God, the Celts are there. I'd love to go to <laughs> Wales. I love the Celtic. So, yeah, so extraordinary. So, get, hang on a minute. Look, Kevin Gracie says, take a week off from the Sunday show. Your members yeah. will not mind. I, he would it, never do that in a minute. No, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> well, only because it, it's a service that we, we like to, to do for you and we love doing it. Um, what was I going to say? Imagine a Friday night where you've got 85% Celtic in the women and 94% Viking in the men. It's going to be a great night It's going out. to be a right old shindig. Mash Kid Gaming. Can you write them down for his birth? Her, is it, I don't know if that's where, a boy or a girl. Where? Mash Kid. Where? Mash Kid Gaming. Mash Kid Gaming. Mask Kid Gaming. That's what I thought. Mask. I know Mask Kid Gaming. But we'll sing your birthday at the end. Mask Kid Gaming. Um, um, so, yeah. So, that, so they speak Faroese. Um, and, the, and the travel... Go- so, anyway, basically, look. There's not a lot of places you can go to. Portugal. But apparently, what were you saying about Portugal? You can go to some places, well, but a lot of places won't let you in. Yesterday, in an hour, they had more um, traffic. I can't remember, was it Richard? Well, or online or... traffic. Or... Yeah, yeah, about Portugal than they had the whole of April. But the thing is, none of the hotels have put their prices up, apparently. That was a big worry that they were all going to hoik their prices because there's still a lot of rooms available. It doesn't compare to last year's bookings, apparently. So I don't think there's going to be as much of a stampede. But can I put my hand up and just say the reason for that? Airlines simply can't charter enough planes because they can't guarantee that there's enough, going to be enough demand yeah. or enough flexibility to fly them. And the prices of, on British Airways last night, the price of a return ticket to Portugal went up from £237 in the space of, a, of Grant Shapps announcing it. Within an hour, it was 560 Just means profiteering out of war. But That's be... what it is. Can we just say a quick hello to... Where is it? Kerry and Brendan, who are in a hotel in Wales. Yes, we can. Hello, Hello Kerry, Kerry and, and Brendan. Brendan. What are you doing in a hotel in Wales? Wish I was in a hotel in Wales. Go on, Kerry. I can't remember what I was saying. Literally can't remember what I was saying. You were what? saying about the price of... Um... Oh, yes, Portugal. Yeah, no, it's... Ah, so, there's all these... We could go to Brunei. But apparently you need to get a letter from the headmaster in Brunei before you can go. And you have to. Was saying. Yeah, and have also, to. apparently... I would boycott it because apparently they don't tolerate homosexuality in Brunei. And, and Andrew Pierce was saying yesterday they do some pretty nasty things to people that are. So Ooh. I don't think that should be anywhere yeah. anymore. Public toilets are open, but that doesn't necessarily mean that all public toilets are open. Do you get what I mean? Public toilets are allowed to be open. Someone's just asking if they should go to the beach because they want to know if the toilets are open. If they are, they would go. But I can't guarantee that the beach you're going to's toilets will be open, if you know what I mean. Mm. Um, so here's the Neem thing. Neem it was so funny. Look, yesterday's Loose Women was hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Did you watch it, Lee? You won't catch me heading, heading to Brunei. Exactly, Lee. We should boycott it. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. Really it's it's just terrible. Mm. Um, so, yeah. So, so, I mean, so... The green list is a bit of a shit list. That's what mm. I'm calling it. I'm calling it a brown list because it looks like a skid mark. It's not a very good list. Brunei, you have to be... Anyway, so the long and the short of it is everyone needs to book a trip to the Faroe Islands. I'm going and there are two pubs on the island and all the first drinks are on me. 
Why are you saying such rubbish? Because I'm going to the Faroe Islands. He's not going no, to the no, Faroe Islands. No, but they made, him. they made it sound so attractive, though, didn't they? Wonderful walks, Well, they hiking. did a bit, but... Yeah, well, you said, said it sounds glorious. They've got a great nightlife. They've got two pubs. That's what I mean. They've got that two pubs. That doesn't sound like a great nightlife to me. Two pubs, me and you. But the Come light on. is absolutely exquisite, apparently, didn't they? Yeah, he say? said he was drinking for a while. He went into the pub at something like 8 o'clock at night, and they were still drinking at 4 o'clock in the morning, and it hadn't got any darker. But I, I, think I would find that a bit disconcerting. I, I wouldn't be able to go to sleep. I love that. I love that. When we were filming in, in the far, far northern reaches of Canada, there was no night time. There was no night time at all. You just stayed awake all the time. It's crazy, crazy. So anyway... Somebody's so just saying there we should do a live Sunday show this Sunday. Oh, we did one before. We did, didn't we? We did do one before. I'm sure we did. How did we do it? How did it work? When did we do it? Was it when we got back from somewhere? Or we'd done something. I no, I think... No, we didn't. We just did a live cook-along. We did... No, 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 we did we do a live... did a live Sunday morning. Which we did. I enjoyed that. Let's do a live one tomorrow. Let's. It means you... Yeah, so Teddy's not doing Teddy. How do we get Lisa in? We could call Lisa on the live. Yeah. And you never know which way it's going to go with Lisa. Who suggested that? Wait, we did do a live, We did. We've done we? a... Yeah, yeah. We haven't yeah. done one for ages. Frank Rose, we did do a live Sunday show. Oh! <gasps> That would be good. I've already got the cheesecake made, though. There'll be no memes in it. We could use the cheesecake for next week. There'll be no funny bits. What did we do in it before? How did we do the funny bits? Did we do we'll funny bits? We'll have to have bits? a look. Did, did we, we do Did we do funny shit in it? No, we didn't. Your mum was here. She did the papers. Did we do the paper? Did she? Yeah, your mum was here. Yeah, your mum did some... No, your mum did something. Yeah, we're doing it live tomorrow. Someone remind us. Remind us of what, how it went. Someone tell us somewhere, please. I can't remember how we made it work. Oh, we're buffering. What's the surprise? You and your mum did live newspapers. I'm no. sure you did. You did something live and I did the cooking live. Debbie Sanderson. Debbie Sanderson, thank you. Why didn't we... God, it's just... Yeah, that's a good idea. We it will a very do good that idea, tomorrow because yeah. it's too much You really did a roast today. dinner. You could still do Lisa Loves. Yeah. I um, didn't do a roast dinner. Not live. We could you do, can't do a roast dinner live. We could do, we could do, the, yeah, there might not be funny shit, but we could do maybe a gardening update with Nan. We'll have a think. We'll have a think. We'll have a think. We'll have a think and we'll let you know. So, did guys. anybody book a holiday yesterday? Yes, Mrs. P, you can Miss have P. a shout out. <laughs> God, that wasn't meant to work. You could do the funny shit on a separate film. That's a good idea. That's a nice idea. I've really deafened myself. Yeah, and you, it was really unpleasant for me as well. <laughs> I'm sure Lee is sitting there shitting himself with laughter. Carry on. That's all right. No, it's all right. Carry on. No, no, no. It's all right. So has anybody booked a holiday? Did anyone jump onto the internet yesterday and immediately book to either Israel or Portugal or the Faroe Islands? I mean, the thing is, what kind of a plane are you going to get from Scotland over to the Faroe Islands? Oh, I Islands? know exactly what sort that's of That's the thing that puts me Oh, off. that's the other thing about the Faroe Islands. A bit like the Hebrides, they've got no trees. Oh, another good fact is they have 50,000 people and 80,000 sheep. I think we've run out of all our Faroe... <laughs> that's, that's all our Faroe Has knowledge. Has anyone ever been to the Faroe Islands? Who's been? Yes. Oh, Israel look. won't let us in, somebody said. Oh, really? I mean, that is the thing. That's the it's other like thing. We've got, those countries aren't... Let, New Zealand won't, Australia won't. All these places we're allowed to go. Why don't you just for a moment impersonate John Campbell's incredibly arched description of the Green List? He basically ran through it and he went, this is what they call... He did it like this. He said, this is what I they call a Green so List. Much. so funny. This is allegedly where we can all go. <laughs> Uh, but it doesn't necessarily mean anyone wants us I to go think there. New Zealand will be inviting any of us in. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm just going to flick us over to 4G, guys. Hold the, hold the fort. If you think about the Faroe Islands, they probably haven't got a single case of COVID. Why would they let us COVID-infested people in? Well, I think because they could probably control it quite well. I don't think the Faroe Islands have ever had so much said about them. Yeah. We've talked about them for ages now. Uh, Jackie Valino, I work with cruise ships and they are returning next month. I'm, are they? Yeah. But you'd think like a cruise ship would be an absolute petri dish, wouldn't you? Because you're underneath... Because it's, it's, it's like John always says, it's the ventilation that saves us. Yeah. I mean, I was in um, one of those big, horrible... I hate them so much, trainer shops the other day. 
um, with Kiki and you just couldn't breathe in there. It was heaving and there was no ventilation and you think, Jesus Christ, none of it makes any sense to me anymore. Deborah Holdsworth's got a good suggestion. We could have a little quiz instead of the funny shit this week and have the funny shit on a separate film. It's a good idea. Well, we'll have a think. We'll, we'll have see a think. what we're going to do. Um, how is your tooth and root, asks Faith. Don't ask Faith. We're on 4G. You don't want to be bored. You don't want to be bored. There's a vlog coming up. Now, can I just apologise? Well, no, no, not apologise. I, I meant everything I said. Last night's home time is very fun and very silly. And then at the end, I'm afraid you got three to four minutes of a very angry me. Very angry me. Um, and if you want to know what the hell I was angry about, go over there and have a look. It's about men, and it's about men on the street, and it's about men and how they look at, ch at women. And it's just, oh, maybe so cross. But thank you for those of you who've kind of messaged saying that you kind of agree. Um... Oh, Reem AW, you've received your card. Sophie Duncan's Brilliant. loved the end last night. Oh, good, good. Hello, Jacqueline Frost. Hope you're well. Hi, Steph Schultz. Thanks, Reem. I hope you, hope you do. Loads, loads of cards have gone out this week, so they should all be landing. Um, Nadia Kauser, why do people get cards from you? Because on the Members Live, we do a little quiz. Oh, you'll remember. Where we give out, so we give out, where we give out cards to those that win. Yeah. So if you join a member's live, I mean, unfortunately, you have to hit the live on the live. You may be in with a chance to win a card. Mm. Um, now, can I just say, railway nightmares. We, I, I didn't want to talk about trains, but I think we have to, because at the top of everyone's news stories. This is just terrible. This is major terrible. travel disruption in a country. I mean, once again, leaves on the track, all that kind of stuff. But this is quite serious. Major travel disruption after cracks have been found on high-speed trains, which cracks... Suggests to me they could fall apart. What, what do you mean on the high speed trains? Well, I'll re dozens of rail services have been cancelled. So Network Rail have said that, I mean, these are trains for, for, to Penzance, to Sheffield, to Bristol, to Hull, to Scotland. Um, services in and out of London Paddington have been suspended whilst all of GWR's intercity trains are being checked. It's a precaution. Yeah, no, but a number of Class 800 series Hitachi trains from several train companies have been taken out of service because of their, a lot of them have been demonstrating cracks. On the actual trains? On the trains, which suggests they could fall apart. I mean, this is going to be pandemonium. Pandemonium. People. Pandemonium. Oh, you know, you can just see it. You get a station. Oh, sorry, they're all cancelled. Yeah. But I'm in Plymouth and I need to get home to London for work on Monday. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. You can get a bus. You can get yeah. a coach. Yeah. Terrible, isn't it? Absolutely terrible. Um, what other stories have we got here? So now, outgoing vaccine task force chief says UK is to be COVID free by summer. It's very easy to say that. Britain could be protected against coronavirus by the summer, the outgoing chief of the UK's vaccine task force has said. After stepping down from his position last week, Clive Dix, he said he believed COVID-19 would be circulating in the UK, would not be circulating in the UK by August. Yay! We'll be safe over the coming winter. What? That means we could have Who's Christmas, guys. This? this is the outgoing vaccine task force Why chief. is he outgoing? Possibly because he's hallucinating. <laughs> he's taken too many mushrooms and he doesn't know his ass from his elbow. I don't know why. I think it's very easy to say something like that, but to qualify it is a little bit harder. You can only say that if we know, oh, look, we've got Butterfly Bell. Welcome, Butterfly, butterfly Bell. Butterfly Bell, Butterfly Bell. Welcome to the VIP family guest. Earlier, Butterfly Bell, Butterfly Bell, Butterfly Bell, Bell, Bell. Flutter by. <laughs> <laughs> I often do a little bit. Everyone always gets a welcome. Yeah, song. and I do oh, a little Oh, Gogglebox reviewed Octopus Teacher. Did that. I'm dying to watch Gogglebox. Oh, my God. I can't this wait to see that. Won't, they, do you know what? I won't every have it time sick. we watch Gogglebox as a family, we all sit there laughing our heads off. But every time it's like pulling teeth. Excuse the pun. Trying to get them to actually watch it. <laughs> I can see what you did with the pulling teeth. Mm. I really want a spoon with you. Get a spoon. Get a spoon. Mm. So, anyway. Go to Lee Pierce, by the way. Yes. Instagram, folks. He's doing a great giveaway. Is he? With his podcast, yeah. Ooh, so Lee. So, go and check him out, at Lee Pierce. Lee, gin, what are you giving away? all sorts. Lee. I'll Lee. do a post about it in a bit. I want to go on a pub crawl with Lee just to see what it's like by the end of the night. Me, Lee, me yeah, and Becky you on a pub crawl. Hick. So, this is Becky who said this yesterday. Over 43 cases in my son's school now. We're self-isolating for 10 days. Where are you, Becky? Where are you, Becky? That's quite an outbreak. Yeah. 43. Yeah, no, it is. Uh, 
I just want to give a bit of publicity to this story. It's not a particularly nice story, but it's relatively local. And it's a story that I have seen is, is moving moving up and up, up the um, news thingy. In Bromley and Beckenham, there are multiple reports of children being followed and almost abducted. I don't know if anyone is in those areas. I think everyone just needs to stay ultra, ultra vigilant in the southeast of London, if anyone is in the southeast of London, because about three children, girls and boys, of the age of about 11 have been approached by men trying to get them into vans. I mean, it's, it's, it's like literally out of the textbook horror book of, of kind of abductions, but it's just everyone be ultra, ultra um, cautious and aware. And in fact, I think they're one of the actors from Line of Duty, it's one of the actors from Line of Duty's child who was approached by someone. And of course, they're all wearing these bloody masks because everyone's wearing masks. So, uh, I, you know, anyone in the area, don't allow, if you see or hear anything, if you know of anyone in the area, Beckenham, Bromley, all around there, be, have your wits about you and be vigilant and uh, just keep your kids close to you, basically. Um, but all, a, a lot of local schools in Bromley have been issuing letters to parents um, as, a, as, a, as a point of caution. So, um, so yeah, so it's been, it's been a weird week, hasn't it? We're going to sign off in a minute. Nadia's just dealing with something over there. Um, it's been a weird week, really. We've watched, essentially, I think, the death of the Labour Party this week. Don't. We now I, have no opposition. I think we, we essentially have zero opposition. And I think, do you know what I think the problem is? I think people just haven't got the stomach for it anymore. I think people are so disillusioned with government and politics, it's hard to mobilise any sort of ideological political debate. I think people are just like, oh, we're just lurching from here to here. So. Disney Bride 2013. Can I have a welcome song as a family? Oh, you are. Yes, you can. Did... Disney Bride 2013. Disney Bride 2013. <laughs> Disney Bride 2013. Welcome to the family. Care steady. Oh, 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 oh. I don't want to sound hypercritical, but I don't think you spent much time working that into a sort of varied song. Darling, Disney Bride song, 2013, Disney Bride 2013, Disney Bride 2013, I want to marry me. <laughs> Something like that, I don't know. Anyway, guys. Uh, Marcia, happy birthday to you. Oh, happy Marcia birthday Toms, to is it? You. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear Marcia Toms. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> And welcome again to Disney Bride. Yeah, and we will be doing tomorrow's Sunday show wow. live. Wow, radical. Um, and there will be a members live coming at some point. We're working out where and when and how. Mm. Okay, guys, have a lovely day. Lots of love. Stay safe. Love you.